Hi, creative people. Hi, creative people. Hi, yes. <laughs> Hi, creative people. I'm Kevin, the man behind the Creative Concept. So, if it's your first time to visit this channel, the Creative Concept is a passion project of mine, established established way back 2016. So, in this channel, you'll get to see my journey, or should I say, our journey, in doing different arts and crafts. To know more, a little bit of history about the Creative Concept, you can check my previous vlog about it. This vlog is another episode of KKK, Creative Crafting with Kevin. Just two weeks ago, I released my first episode wherein I had my first attempt of doing paper quilling. But... Parang nabiti na ako. So, in this episode, I am also doing the same thing, my second attempt of doing paper quill, but this time to a different level. Kasi last time, level 0 pa yun. So, ngayon naman, siguro level up ng konti. Mga level 1. Level 1. Level 1. So, ayun. So, hindi na natin patagal ito. And let's get started. So, for us to start, we need to prepare the materials. So, prior to do this paper quilling activity, I already cut some strips of paper. So, for this one, this board type paper around 200 GSM. This will be used for the foundation for the traces of our uh, paper quill. And the colors that I used are, we have this color green and a lighter green. Then next we have color red, uh, orange, yellow orange, and yellow. Again. So the width of our paper strips around 1 cm and this one is the legal size around 13 inches so the height and we have also we also use a different uh, we also use different tools as well so una is yung our body companion very helpful this uh, slotted paper uh, slotted quilling needle so meron ding ibang quilling needle na walang ano sa gitna parang slot and then next we have the curling coach, this humanoid. So pinapasok dito yung curling needle para magiging ano siya, uh, magiging flat yung pag-curl mo sa paper. <coughs> and then next we have the glue, which has my super fine tip siya. So may maliit siya na tip para hindi maging madumi yung paglagay natin ng glue. And then next we have the quilling comb. So yung quilling comb, dito pinapasok yung mga paper strips. So later on, papakita ko. And then we have, since malaki yung kamay ko, so meron tayong teasers, helpful sila, to pick up those mga paper curls. And next we have this husking board. Husking board, para din siyang quilling comb. Pero yung ano lang niya is naka-flat lay and then meron siyang maliliit na mga lang, metal strip. Ayan. Mayroon siya mga maliliit na metal, metal stick. So, pinapasok siya dito sa grid. So, so, actually, you can create your own design based on the on the placement of your metal sticks. So, ayan. So, parang ganit. Ayan. So, next we have the last D. Yung ginagamit ko for this activity is yung uh, border body. So, yung border body, pwede may different, ano siya, different layers, different levels. So, for each level, lalaki na lang lalaki yung diameter ng bilog niyo. So, actually, may ibang shape din ito. Hindi lang bilog, merong square, meron ding triangle. So, ayun. So, ito yung mga materials na gagamitin natin for this paper quilling activity. So, the first thing that we have to do is to trace the pattern. So, in this paper quilling activity, letter A yung napili ko. So, using this 200 GSM uh, board paper. Good. 
So yung next naman natin gagawin is to create the paper curls in any colors, yung mga colors na napili natin using this tool. So we have the slotted quilling needle and our curling coach. So ayun. In doing paper quilling, we have to make sure na hindi matatamaan yung mga curls na nadikit na or yung mga curls na ginagawa mo pa lang uh, dahil nga si malalaki natin kamay. So, kaya we have this, this very helpful companion, itong mga tweezers na to. So, they are the ones who will help you pick up those, even yung mga maliliit na mga, ano, yung mga paper curls. So this time, gagamit tayo ng quilling comb kung napapansin nyo may strip na siya nang nilagay. So basically, yung quilling comb, dito mo i-curl or i-form yung paper, yung mga strips mo. So, uh, if, hindi ko alam kung paano siya i-zoom, pero may mga numbers dito sa quilling comb natin. So dito yung 1, 2, 3, 4, hanggang ano, 15 siya. And then, so, paano siya gagamitin? So, may, since may mga numbers siya, so, Ikaw bahala kung saan mo ipapasok yung mga, yung curl. So ako by one, one iteration lang. So one, tapos ikot mo lang siya, pasok mo sa three. So ako yung ginagawa ko, every, every turn, nilalagyan ko siya ng blue para hindi siya gumagalaw. Okay. And then blue ponte, and then curl mo yung siya sa number two. And then next is, since tapos ka na sa number two, dito ka na ulit sa number three, dito ka na sa three. So, pagkadating sa last part na, well, depende sa'yo kung saan, hanggang saan mo gusto, uh, ikakat natin siya. So, kailangan mong patulin yung excess. Okay. Ayan, pagka puto mo lang excess, pwede, pagka puto mo lang excess, pwede mo na siyang tanggalin. So, ganito na yung mga so ikaw ba na pwede mo rin gawing pwede mo rin gawing beef so ganyan yung gamit niya sa so, paper fill activity na to napag-isip-isip ko na gamitin tong uh, border body so, yung ginagawa niya, na-mention ko kanina, may different levels siya. So, level 1, mga around mga 7.7 cm ata yung ano niya, diameter hanggang nag-increment siya nga simula tumaki. So, yung paano siya gamitin, uh, lab yung paper strip mo, pili ka lang ng isang level, tapos lagyan natin yung para hindi siya gagala. So, kaya, kaya, kaya siya tinatawag na border body kasi para mag-create ka ng border or mag-create ka ng shape from this one. Depende sa shape ng ano mo, ng, 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 ng pattern mo. So, ayun. Nag-glue na natin siya. So, pwede mo na siya ikutin dito. Tulad ng pagpapaikot na sa kanya. Tulad ng pagpapaikot na sa'yo. Kaya bahala kung saan ka masaya. Ayan. So, for once may right below ka na, i-glue mo lang siya yung dulo. Ayan. So, from this below, from this small circle, you can create a teardrop. So, so that will be a different video on how to create some paper 
curls or paper shapes ng paper filling. So, yun, yung mga teardrop. So, yun. So, yun. Uh, that's how you use the body, border body. Aside from the filling comb na ginagamit natin kanina, so, ito. So, gumagamit din ako ng husking board. Ito yung husking board. So, may mga papansin nyo, may mga butas-butas siya, tinatawag na grades. And then, may mga metal sticks na magaliit. So, kung yung comb, meron siya mga ngipin na ganito. Si husking board, meron naman siya yung mga ngipin din, pero maliliit na sticks. Ito ko lang kung kita nyo. Ayan. So, based on the butas-butas, based on the grip, pwede kang mag-create ng pattern na gusto nyo. Pwede yung pa-curve, pwede yung pa-horizontal. You can create whatever you created in combing, I mean, in uh, ano to? quilling comb sa husking board. So, pwede mo siyang gawin. So, ayun. So, just be careful lang kasi madali siyang nauhulo. So, you have to have a support in catching those mga na nauhulo. Ayun. So, ayan. Natapos na natin lahat ng mga uh, kailangan natin gawin sa ating paper quilling na activity. So, ngayon naman, I am very excited to show you the final output. So, ito yun. Excited na ba? Ito. Sorry. So, letter A siya. I don't know. Pagod na ba siya? Yeah. So, ito yung second attempt sa paper quill. Uh, hopefully, tuloy-tuloy. Gusto ko, gusto ko ubusin lahat ng alphabet. So, from A to Z. A to Z, kapamilya. <laughs> Again. So, ayun, masaya naman ako sa output. And the color combination is quite good. Probably. So, we have the colors red, orange. Then sa baba, summer. Sa baba, may color green tayo. Gusto ko plano ko sana siyang gawin garden. Pero parang mahirap-hirap. <laughs> so, maybe next time. So yun guys, natapos na naman ang isang masaya at satisfying na KKK episode, Creative Crafting with Kevin. And sana sasamahan niyo ulit ako sa mga future videos ko dito sa The Creative Concept. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment sections, especially pag may gusto ko yung gawin or gusto niyo ipapagawa sa akin with paper quilling or any other arts and crafts. And don't forget to leave some likes, show support in this YouTube channel by subscribing. And if you want to be informed sa mga bagong videos, ko, click that notification bell. Ayan. So, may mga ibang social media accounts din ako if you want to follow, if you want to connect with me. So, follow niyo yung sa Instagram and TikTok. That's at the dot creative dot concept. And finally, isang Facebook page. The Creative Concept or that's at the that creative that concept and then meron din akong Twitter so that's creative underscore concept and of course this YouTube channel The Creative Concept and ayun guys so yun na yun lahat and hopefully nag-enjoy kayo sa episode na to see you next time stay safe and always be creative bye bye